Hello and welcome to yet another episode. Today I'm talking Woody Woodpecker, Woody Pecker, whatever the damn film is called. What the hell? It's for kids, so I have to be not extremely negative on it. But what the rubbish? I mean, like, if you're gonna have a woodpecker, at least... You know what? I'm not doing a review on this. I'm not. I'm not doing it. What's the point of me doing a review on this Woody Pecker shit? It's, a, it's for kids. I'm an adult. I shouldn't even be watching this. But it's on fucking Netflix. So I decided to go and watch it. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, I have no, I have no words. I have no words. Speechless. Like, I criticize a lot of things. Like, the fact that Woody, Woody, or Woodpecker guy flaps, doesn't flap his wings or arms to fly. He just floats like he's Superman. But he's a bird. I get it. They had to make him have hands and shit. But at least you could have made him try to fly or something. Not have him... When it's a cartoon, it's normal. But when it's a fucking 3D CGI shit, it just looks stupid. It does. It really does. Look stupid. It hurts. To see that. But. What do I care? Go watch it. It's fun. It's hilarious. It's got a little bit of gist to it. You get used to it. Yep. Um, after a while, you realize it's, it's actually not that bad. Because it's. Woody. <laughs> I love the laugh. I can't make it like <laughs> whatever. Um yeah, go watch it, man. Uh, this is a horrible review because I'm disappointed in the film. The film was rubbish. And I don't want to bash it because I feel like it's for kids. So kids will enjoy it. But if like okay, let's pretend I'm reviewing this for an for a young audience. Okay, let's let's do that again. And action. I just watched Woody 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 Woody. I just watched this. This film is amazing. I mean, like, the, 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 okay, it's not. I can't even pretend. I can't pretend. Okay, let's try this again. This film is, like, the most amazing uh, life action film I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, like, the woodpecker. It's amazing. Like, there's a woodpecker who pecked gold, who sculpted gold by pecking, apparently. And then the family, the kids, they're... Mo the oh, I mean, like, what kind of bullshit is this? Okay. You mean to tell me this old guy wins a piece of land, or owns a piece of land, puts there's gold on it, uh, and then instead of putting it in the bank and use it for his family like a normal person would do, he puts all his gold in a fucking statue, has it painted bronze or whatever, or it just accumulates dirt over the years. Okay, fine. You know what I mean? And his grand great grandkids, instead of, I don't know, using the land for something better, they decided to do a summer camp. Okay, it's the most American shit ever, but whatever. And in this summer camp, since they're they divided because he had two sons who wanted to use the, the field for a more artistic crap. And the other one wanted to use it for more military crap. Oh my God, it's the most rubbish shit ever. Anyway, instead of putting a wall like normal people. Yeah, like if you're going to divide land, you put up a fucking fence. I don't know, a wall. You did not. Put a fucking piece of tape on the ground like a fucking cartoon and expect me to believe. For thousands, no, for, for hundreds, no, for decades, there's been a fucking line in the water by the lake. A piece of string on the lake. A piece of tape on the ground. You even have a main cabin where the head office is, where trophies are. Got a little tape on the Little tape on the stairs. You said stairs at the top. 
Who the fuck approved this shit? Who? If I have, if I had kids and I found my kids watching this, I'd smack them in the head. Yes, it's child abuse. I don't. I mean, what kind of dumbass sponsored this shit and said, "Let's make a movie, shall we?" Are you deranged in the head? Like, what the fuck was that? I mean, like, if there, there's land and there's two people, you put a fucking fence. You build a wall. You build a wall. I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna build a beautiful wall. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be beautiful. That's what you do. You build a wall. You don't grab tape and put it on the ground and say you don't cross the line. What are we playing sandcastles? When you say nobody crosses the sand, you cross this line. It means war. We're playing sand wars. And these are supposed to be sophisticated businesses. I have a question. What kind of institution, government institution, would allow this nonsense? They didn't even show there's a difference. They sharing the same water bill. They're probably sharing the same fucking electricity bill. Because you can't tell me they have separate electricity bills when they have a fucking tape separating the properties. So they share a water bill, they share electricity bill, and they're different camps. Okay, one is military based and one is arts and crafty and sciencey and geeky and dorky. And the arts and crafty one is all fun and games, and the military one is all macho and power. All the kids are bullies and, and shit. What kind of. And then they bring in an inspector who's. Fucking walrus. Yeah, he's got big teeth. Like he's a fucking vampire or something. But he's a walrus. He's a cartoon. He's a character from the Woody cartoon. So it makes sense. I'm just saying, don't fucking... Some shows do not need live action. They don't need it. And this fucking did it. It didn't need it. But I will say... Some of the features on Woody were pretty cool. He did everything the cartoon does. I enjoyed that show all growing up. It was fun. <sighs> Next thing they're going to do a live Dexter adaptation. Dexter's Lab. Oh, sorry. They're probably going to do that too. I don't know how they're going to get him to be mini size and Dee to be tall, but they'll do it. They'll probably get a midget or something. Oh, no. Sorry. Politically correct. Uh little person or a kid with his tall sister who's extremely tall who happens to be a ballerina yes that will probably work yes and I don't know what what sane person would hire a bird to cook in his kitchen I don't even know what sane owner would agree to sign for shit and they don't know what's inside it and I don't know what dumbass. You know what? Don't fucking watch it. Go watch it. I don't give a shit. It's the most rubbish. Ugh. Why did I even waste my time reviewing? I don't believe this shit. I'm such a dumbass. I'm out of here, man. I can't believe I spent eight odd bloody. Now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios.